Hi guys, this is Jeff at the Glorious Uncertainty. Uh, uncertainty? I just made up a word. It's uncertainty and it is Monday the 13th of March. Um, there's no bet today. Um, to be honest with you, it's a little bit too late um, because of everything I've had to do with the competition and stuff. So there's no bet today, but I am doing my tricast. I did rate two races. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going with the tricast thing, but they are not going on the account. If you fancy a bash at them, that's up to you. I'll just do a pound on each one. Um, but I am uh, on that particular strategy. You need a 4,000 point bank um because you have monster losing runs of that monster um so that's no bet but it is the eve of Cheltenham and if you've never been to Cheltenham races for the festival you need to go it is an absolute spectacle it's unbelievable no matter what you see on the tv in the crowds if, when you are stood in the middle of it it, and you look around it is unbelievable um when i went in 97 um just before my uh, kids were born um it was the start of Isterback made his first appearance um not in the champion in the in the uh, in the lesser the two mile hurdle uh, i can't remember what they called it but the triumph was it Tron hurdle, um, but Martin Pike's Maker Stand won the champion hurdle. Um, when making all that was that was sensational. But Isterbrack, and I know there's a piece on Isterbrack um, in the Racing Post online, and watch it. You read that. It was it was unbelievable. It's another world. When you go, you you just cannot fully appreciate. The, the atmosphere you just can't you can't there are thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds being laid but more importantly there's this the the birth of some real fantastic horses that that started they, they just stand out they stand out when you watch them and i remember going to see one man race um and when you were stood near uh, the fences and you saw one man leap they, they are graceful they are physical strength everything it, it, it's it, it when you actually stood there watching I used to work I, I actually used to go and watch um, Earth Summit run um, and I watched Earth Summit at uh, Haydock uh, national trial which pulled up on the far side I, I can't remember who was on it for some reason I always think it was Jamie Osborne but I don't think it was um, but when you actually stand and watch them you get a full idea and appreciation of not only the horse but the bravery of the jockeys it cannot be overstated I'm telling you it is unbelievable and I may have overused the word unbelievable in this video but it's another, it's another world. You, you're going 30, 30 odd miles an hour on a horse and it's and it's leaping. I mean, when you watch one man, there was, I always remember on the front cover of the um, Racing Post, there was a picture of one man leaping over, I don't know where it was. I'm quite sure a lot of you uh, will remember this. And it was clear by a foot over this fence. It was just unbelievable and i've said unbelievable again um but going to cheltenham we're going back to cheltenham going to cheltenham to watch and it was mr mulligan one as well when i was there um going back and going to cheltenham you have to do it you have to do it if you've not gone this year you need to get if, if you're not there this year save your pennies and go because it's a once in a lifetime spectacle. It is absolutely sensational. It's brilliant. Um, and I once had <laughs> my mate, my mate always says, Go and tell that story again about the Queen Mother. I once had a conversation with the Queen Mum. And it was after the Queen Mother Champion Chase. I can't remember her. Oh, I do. It was Martha's son one. Martha's son 
won. That was that was a, a great win. And I was stood at so from the presentation at Royal Box, and then the Queen Mum came down, and everybody was politely clapping. And um, I thought I, thought, I looked around and I thought, yeah, th these these all seem. There's a respectable people and and uh, polite, with their polite clapping, but I wasn't happy with that. Um, so I shouted, <laughs> I really did. I shouted, "Mom, Mom!" And she looked right at me. No word of a lie. She looked right at me, and she went and she said, <laughs> "My mate always says to me, do the voice, so I'll do the voice." It's mom, mom, and she looks at me. And went, yes, with the hand gesture. Yes, I said you look marvelous, mom. You look marvelous, and she looked right at me again. And she went, thank you. I thought it was great. And my mate, every time we talk about Shelton, he always goes, thank you. But it was happy, happy days, happy days, and um, but Shelton Festival. Get yourself there. You have to go. I'm going to go next year. I'm going to go next year. I can't go this year because of various things going on in my life. But um, fantastic memories. There were some fantastic horses. And there are more to come. And don't miss them. Don't miss them. Right, so it's competition time tomorrow. Don't forget to come with the competition. It is fun. And you can bet on this you can advise on this freely you're not shackled by any financial constraints or the finance of it cannot pollute how you would bet because sometimes the great polluter in betting uh, in selection process is um the financial side of it the financial side of it really really does um kill the selection process it can put you off because you're always thinking about the money this is why i always say about 400 point bank you have to have the bank in place because the great polluter of a decision making is money money will always but if you've got your bank in place you can you're freed up to do it to make your selections and here you'll see a true representation of how good you are at selecting horses this is the whole point of it you're free, free. Make your selections based on how you do it. And then, like I say, there's no constraints, financial constraints. There's gonna be a 200 quid at the end of it, but enjoy it. But enjoy the spectacle. Get those tickets for next year. More importantly though, book into a hotel. <laughs> Good luck with that one. That's why I've got this van here. Good luck with that. Um, right, that's it. Uh, I will put the uh, Tricast in down there. If you want to have a go on those, have a go. Um, it's a bit of fun. I like it. I like to do them. But they're not everybody's cup of tea. I just have it. I, I like it. I do it because I think I've put that much time into rating that race. I'm not just going to let it go. I've got to get something out of it or an interest out of it with a financial uh, tag to it. So that's that. Right. Okay. Have a great day. Um... I shall speak to you later and get in that phone book and bye for now. Bye bye.